spiders are among the most feared animals on the planet. But what if I told you that the secret to overcoming this fear actually lies with one of the spiders that is conventionally thought to be quite frightening? I'm Spencer Hoffman, and here on this channel, I'm investigating the secrets of the natural world. I've worked with spiders for years, handling some of the largest and most venomous species here in North America. But I wasn't always this comfortable. I, too, used to be afraid of spiders. And the spider that helped me out the most overcoming that fear was the wolf spider. And while I was out exploring the woods, I happened across one of these beauties. Oh, check this out. A little wolf spider. Hey, buddy, how are you? that a little wolf spider that's awesome what i've got right here is one of the north american giant wolf spiders and now i'm sure some of you are thinking spencer that spider is not that big look this is a hogna species which is technically one of the north american giant wolf spiders and here in central north carolina they just don't get that big so yeah, cut me a little bit of slack and just remember that for a lot of people watching this this is a very big spider. These spiders are actually something that helped me a ton getting over my own discomfort with these eight-legged arachnids. And I wanted to share exactly why these little guys were so important in that personal journey that I made. It starts with the fact that the biggest thing we're afraid of with these guys is they have those big old fangs. They're fast spiders with huge fangs. So of course, our natural instinct is to be worried about the bite. And see, I've actually been bitten by this exact species before. But the thing is, it took a lot of aggravating to get that spider to bite and truth be told aside from myself and my buddy jack from jack's world of wildlife i don't know anyone who's ever been actually bitten by a wolf spider and in my and jack's case those were intentional bites where we actually forced the spiders to bite us for an experiment that aside some people might find their appearance very creepy but the more you look at them i actually kind of compare them to another group of spiders which a lot of people actually are not afraid of and that is the jumping spiders see we think of jumping spiders as being fairly cute because they're kind of funny looking kind of compact little spiders with those big old eyes and really cute interactive personalities but wolf spiders actually aren't all that different see in the spider keeping space wolf spiders are also incredibly popular pets even among keepers who aren't super comfortable with handling them. And that's because these spiders are incredibly interactive and actually, believe it or not, they're also incredibly intelligent. See, jumping spiders are the most intelligent arachnids, but wolf spiders are actually a pretty close second. There have been a lot fewer studies on them because the jumping spiders kind of take the whole limelight. But if we actually examine these spiders' biology, we can see just why they're so incredibly intelligent and so incredibly special. You know, out in the natural world, a lot of animals will have really prominent features, and those prominent features can give us hints at their biology. Wolf spiders have those really long powerful legs huge fangs but just like jumping spiders they have those large front facing eyes what that tells us is these are visual hunters that use an active hunting style to chase down and overpower their prey they're using those powerful legs to chase down their prey and using those big huge fangs to overpower their prey rather than use an extremely potent venom you're probably still thinking spencer that doesn't make me any more comfortable around these spiders they're they're fast they have big fangs but here's the thing as you can see right here this this spider is just sitting there in my hand chilling you know this is not an animal that means me any harm and that's because just like a jumping spider the wolf spider can actually kind of figure you out and the reason i know this is it takes a lot of cognitive power to do what these spiders do you know to us the forest floor is a pretty boring place you know we have decently long legs we are all decent even the shortest of us humans are decently tall compared to a wolf spider so traversing this terrain doesn't take that much effort for a wolf spider a patch of leaf litter is a treacherous environment with lots of terrain changes and topography so to be able to hunt and chase down and intercept prey in that kind of environment for an animal this size takes a lot of calculation to be able to plot a course cut off a fleeing prey item before it can escape. And they have to be able to process a lot of detail in that tiny little brain they have to be able to distinguish prey items from their environment. And unlike insects, spiders don't have compound eyes. So they're not they're not using tons of little pixels to put an image together. Their eyes function very similar to ours. They have little cells in the back of the eye that take in light and then their brain processes the image. To be able to do that, especially in a tiny little brain 
like this spider has, you gotta have a pretty good processing power, just like a jumping spider. And while these guys aren't quite as curious as jumping spiders are, they're, they're a bit more secretive in nature because they're ground dwelling, fairly nocturnal spiders, they actually can have a lot of personality. See, this, this is a male spider. Uh, I can tell because of those little clubs on his pedipalps in the front of his face there. Just like jumping spiders, the male wolf spiders like to show off for females and they actually have a lot of spunky personality and people who keep these spiders can verify that. Wolf spiders are incredibly interactive. They're incredibly fun to watch. You know, tarantulas kind of just sit there. But jumping spiders and wolf spiders will actually kind of roam around their enclosure, actively hunt their prey, and in their own simple arachnid way, these spiders can actually learn. And when it's feeding time, they'll actually come out to greet you. As you can see right here, you know, yes, they're a larger spider, they are extremely fast, but once they calm down, they are beautiful, interactive animals that mean us absolutely no harm. Just like any other spider, wolf spiders are just simple creatures trying to make their way in the universe. Once you get past their appearance, they are an extremely inoffensive animal. They will pretty much calm right down. And in a lot of the areas of the US where tarantulas don't live, I kind of compare these to the local equivalent of a tarantula. Like I don't get tarantulas here in, in North Carolina aside from a few bizarre subterranean species. So the wolf spiders kind of take up that space. They're the large above ground spider that looks freaky, but once you get to know them, they're actually really chill. Overcoming your fear of spiders can be a challenging process, but it's worth it because by doing so, you open up a door into a secret world all around us of bizarre creatures that live incredible lives right under our noses. Now, if you want a glimpse of this secret world from the safety of your computer screen, check out this playlist right here where I dive deep into the lives of common backyard creatures that might be living right near you, but in a whole new way that you never imagined possible. I hope to see you there, but until next time, don't forget to get outside and find your own adventure.